Hello, lovelies. Before I get into today's housework, I thought I would spend a little bit of time with you doing a couple of little pages in my little book, Good Times Ahead. I've done a couple of pages without you, so I think I should show you those. <coughs> I think I did that one with you last time. So, I found some beautiful Christmas paper, so I thought, why not? Christmas in April, what the heck? It doesn't matter. So, a nice piece of neutral backing paper on this side and the Christmas paper on the other side. And I found this holly in amongst my cutout books, so that came out and got stuck onto there. I had made this tag some time ago using a tag that I'd picked up from somewhere, cannot remember where, and put music sheet behind the, the bauble and page is done. And this one I did a couple of days ago. Australian paper, Aussie stamp on a domino, which I had found in my Christmas bonbon. I'm just reaching over to get one for you to show you. So all I did was decorated them up with a little piece of, believe it or not, that's tissue box, isn't that pretty? And that one is tissue box as well. So I've just decorated them up, making them look something better, something prettier than just a black and white domino. Then the, the little saying, another domino and a piece of washi tape. And now I'm caught up with you, so we can halve this book so that it comes out relatively flat. Make sure it's up the right way for me to work on. Because that would be disastrous. Get halfway through a book and have something upside down. That would be a bit awful, actually. Now, I was given a sheet of stickers with these two things on it, and I had this little piece of paper out of my Aussie pad. I have this one, and I bought a couple more of them. I think I've given one away already. But um, I'm slowly but surely making my way through it, so I don't have very much left of it. But this particular piece of paper I had left, and it just came in with the colour scheme of these two stickers absolutely perfectly. I should have undone some of this before I came onto camera, so I'm sorry, folks. <coughs> Lovely piece of sunset or sunrise, whichever way you want to look at it. I think it might be sunset because it's got the beautiful deep blue sky behind it. Now I like to try and get these as close to the edge of the page as I can because this little bit of border, if it's left on the edge of the page, gets a little bit flippy floppy when I'm trying to turn the pages. Now I absolutely love thistle plants. And the little saying that I'm going to put alongside it is, oh so true. And it says, some see a weed, some see a wish. How many of you can remember pulling the head of a thistle and blowing it away and making a wish at the same time? I'm still much of a child, I would love to do that, but you know, I think I'd get frowned at. <laughs> so I don't do it. I behave myself. But this is not going to fit. It's going to be too big. So what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time with you and just fussy cut around the the faux stitching. And I've got these beautiful new scissors. I have joined the um, the Timu bandwagon and I've picked up a couple of great things and these scissors are one of them. For three dollars sixty eight, they're beautiful. Very easy to use, colourful, and they do have a protector on the end of them that you put on when you finish cutting. Just by trimming off all of this little bit of extra bordering, we'll make this hopefully the correct size. These two pages are going to be fairly simple because I don't always believe that you have to fill in a page completely 
to make it look good. Sometimes simple, you know, the old saying, less is best. So sometimes I agree with that. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect fit. Now, I'm going to call that page done. I might put some white paint dots around a couple of places. This is another um, Timu event. Fly C. Where's my box? I'll put it down somewhere. Now I can't find it. Oh, I'm good. I'm very good that way. <laughs> I don't. Oh, there it is staring me in the face. But that box came with three black, three white pens, so I'm going to have enough fine paint pens to see me through for quite a while. And you shake them to get the paint moving, and then just very quickly and delicately put your dots wherever you want them. And I'm just being very random. I have not planned this page at all. Apart from just to get the, the colours to match up with things. That was about the extent of my planning and what was to go on it. So I think that's enough there. I'm not keen on this one, so I'm going to make it go up this way a little bit more. Happy with that. Okay. Now, um, no, I'm going to leave it just like that. I really don't want to do any more to it. So that's page number one done. These pages come so quickly sometimes. It's really, it fascinates me the way they grow just before your very eyes sort of thing. Now, I did prepare my stickers for this page. I had cut out of magazines a lot of this shape, and then I put them onto book paper, and then I put lined paper on them. Um, they don't quite fit into these little books, so all I've done is put some double-sided tape on it, and it's getting stuck down as is. It makes it thick, but it's very, very sturdy. It's not going to come apart in a hurry. Now, I have my washi tape here, so... My pretty floral one. I'm going to put some of that down. Whoops, better put it up the right way, Ruth. Don't want the pretty little flowers upside down. Now, do we? Of course not. I'll answer myself. I can't hear you shouting at me today. Sorry gone deaf. My excuse, I'm sticking to it. Okay. Using a credit card to cut your washi tape is sometimes a, a good idea. You can get it exactly where you want it, and then you can use it. This is a, not um, a current card. It's a rewards card from a nursery that I don't visit anymore because they're too far away. Okay, now, <coughs> excuse me. I got clever when I undid the sticky on these. I put them onto my little silicone mat with a sticky down on there, so all I had to do was pick it up and undo the rest of it. It just helped enormously with these little fussy stickers because sometimes they can get very fiddly 
when you're trying to get this little stalk piece off or other fine bits. Okay, and now this one says love is right no matter how many times it wrongs you. And there we go, my two pages for today. I may do another one later on. I may not. I'm not sure. We'll just see how the day goes. So with that, I will thank you very, very much for coming to see these. Thank you for coming to visit me as well. Please leave a comment. If you have not already subscribed, please do so. I do come up with a little bit of things once a week. I try to anyway. And for my subscribers whom I've had forever, and some of them you are new and some are forever friends, I do thank you very much for coming back and leaving comments. You are very treasured, very loved, and I will thank you again. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.